peace to the family. I'm just out here in the darkness. In the darkness doing shadow work. My battery ain't like super full. So I ain't gonna talk for a long time. But the title of this video is why you should avoid shadow work. Um, since this ain't a long video, I'm going to make it to where it's straight into the point. You have a purpose, a plan, and a detailed order for how your life is supposed to play out. From your grandma to your grandfather to your mom, your from your grandma, from your mom, from your grandfather, from your dad, from your brothers, from your sister, from your teacher, your principal, your superintendent, the governor, the mayor, the president. Everybody is conspiring for you to fuck up your initial spiritual blueprint. And you being ignorant to the fact that you have a detailed blueprint for how your life should go. You know everything that is right and exact for you. You don't know that. You start asking your grandma. You start asking your grandfather. You start asking your mom. You start asking your dad. And these motherfuckers don't study your blueprint. They start telling you, yeah, you should be a ballerina, girl. You should be a football player, son. Be like me. Be an electrician. Be a contractor. All this stupid shit, right? Now, deep down inside, you know everything there is that you should do. And maybe it's not built yet, but every day you are in the process of building that. Now, shadow work, why you should avoid shadow work is if you don't want to live your life in reference to the blueprint or the schematic that was laid out specifically for you. You should avoid shadow work if you're in a relationship that you're not really supposed to be in. But you're a nice guy. You're a nice girl. You're a good guy. You're a good girl. But that relationship ain't the relationship you should be in. You should avoid shadow work if you're in a dead end ass job and you know for a fact that you're getting paid an hourly wage and you got way too much talent, skills, abilities to be getting paid this low, low wage. So instead of doing shit about it, you should just avoid shadow work, right? Because shadow work is going to make sure that you put your superintendent, your boss, your goddamn bus driver. That's bringing you to the job. Hey, man, I'm way bigger than this shit. Like you when you when you are in tune with your blueprint, everything outside of your blueprint will not cut it. See, but the reality is that motherfuckers tune in to things outside of their blueprint every fucking day. And you know what you got to do to cope with the fact that you're not tuning in to the design that you have for yourself and your life and your prosperity and your happiness. You about to fucking get high as a motherfucking kite out here in these streets. You going to be having sex. You going to be getting drunk. You going to be watching TV. You going to be, you know what you going to do, family? You going to be spiritual around these spiritual motherfuckers, right? Ain't nothing worse than a spiritual motherfucker telling you, you know what? Let me tune in and tap in to let me tell you what your blueprint is, right? Because you got a reading from me or some hot shit like that. Now I could tell you your blueprint. And now, you know what, motherfuckers that talk to you, they'd be like, well, I got a reading from such and such. They told me that, you know, this, that, and the third. So third, that, and the this. And I'd be like, shit. How do you feel about that? 
well, I'm just trying to have other people tell me my blueprint hood. So, you know, shoot me a blueprint that I should be doing with my life and, you know, tell me what I should be doing so I could be mad when I do the thing that you told me to do that I didn't ever know that I was supposed to do it and I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. Now I'm mad at you, hood. I was mad at my mama. I was mad at my boyfriend. I was mad at everybody who told me what to do as opposed to doing the thing that I knew I should do from day one. So when if you ever upset, sad, in a negative space, you should avoid shadow work because shadow work is going to tell you exactly why you've been pissed off. And 10 times out of 10, the reason that you pissed off is the same energy that got you pissed off because you got yourself to that particular point. You just was ignorant as to how you got there. And because when you do not do shadow work, everything is a projection. You got it dead set on the projection of the person that have wronged you. You don't decide to say, hey, I should have never went into that house. I should have never got into that car. Something told me not to deal with that person. I got an eerie feeling about that person. You know, shadow work is your overall intuition and in telling you everything that you need to get to. And I guess ultimately it knows that you're not going to do the thing that you're supposed to do or else you wouldn't have to work to do it. You should like the irony of this whole situation is that your greatest gift, your highest height, the best thing that ever happened to you in life is found within you. So it should never be a point that you have to get to, like you got to compromise or leverage or, you know, I got to key you into some shit like you should automatically think, oh, this is my greatest gift, my greatest height to society, my greatest gift to the universe. All that I ever have to do is tune into myself. But it's different when you in a world where you live to impress people you live to show off, you live to give credit and get credit. I think where a lot of people get their blocks and they reach their blocks with their business, they reach their blocks with their lives and their pursuits is because it, it gets to a point of shadow work or it gets to a point of anything where you start to think about other people specifically. Like if you ever was profitable, if you ever had a job and you had money from that job, you could have took that money and forayed that into an educational system that will lead you into helping other people, which will build you up the reputation and cachet for productive businesses in the future. Ten times out of ten, shit go good for you and you just reinvest in yourself. Think about yourself. Never think about the community. Never think about doing things pro bono. Never doing things philanthropy. I just made that up. It felt good. It sounded good. All of this spiritual shit is well and good. But people take it for themselves. They sit in their houses with all of the spiritual ashe. And they never go outside of their houses and think to help people. Or think that this spiritual shit is not specifically for you to benefit yourself. Even if you have that energy, you would just get wiped away and washed away and things won't work out for you. Because you didn't build a community. You don't have no real thought process to a substantial long term process to anything that you're thinking about. Your blueprint in order for it to be successful is because it helps many other people when it's actually completed. You actually thought your blueprint was a mansion so you could just live in it and be luxurious and stun on people and let people know, hey, I have more than you. But in reference to the Aquarian waters or just the life-giving waters of the ocean or the life-giving waters of the rivers, the river don't exist for the river's sake. The river exists for the people's sake and the animal's sake and the fish's sake. People like the fish call the river their home. So you have this whole body of energy 
that don't exist specifically for its selfish needs. It specifically exists for organisms to live and thrive and to enjoy and to have pleasure. When you tune in and tap into your spiritual sovereignty, you are just like that same river. You are just like that same ocean. But there are so many broken, hurt people who do not do psychologically advanced advanced things in reference to spirituality. Most people that tune into spirituality are broken and hurt. That's why when you start talking about spirituality, it sounds good at first. The deeper that you deal with it, the more that you say, oh, shit. This is just like regular humanity. It's just that niggas is read different types of books. Niggas have a different type of linguistics, a different conversation. But we could have did the same exact conversation in the church. Motherfuckers replace manifest with prayer, right? Motherfuckers replace God and Jesus with Orishas. So religious being bound to society, religion means to bind. Like everything in reference to society, colonialism, government is rooted in the Catholic Church. They say that church and state is separated. But when you get down to the minutia of it, the state and the church is one thing, because. I've said this before, but I'll say it again, when people die. Yo, property. Remains. And 10 times out of 10, the government, i.e. this. Well, before it was the government, it was the state that held all of the land from like the generations of people that died because people will go to church their whole lives, die, and then they'll have just like they land and whatever the case may be. The church will have it. Right. So over time, the institution called the church just basically owned the whole of Europe. So when you think about the kings and the queens and all of that, they was put in place specifically by the church. So even when you are getting a good job or making money or driving a car or doing something scientific, you're doing something religious. Please let me explain. You are an ancient spiritual technology that is outside of science. Science hasn't existed for end all be all. The actual science that we know is basically created like in the 1700s. Francis Bacon, the scientific experiment. Now, the scientific experiment is a specific thing that says everything that's built has to go through a specific process for it to manifest. And this process that they have created has worked. However, it's deeply limited when it's when you bring in different other energies like um, say, for instance, if they did a scientific experiment on singing. Right. And they said you have to do X, Y, Z to be a good singer. Right. But then you brought your little cousin who can sing her ass off in a church And you have like somebody that scientifically sing on the scales, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then your cousin go, A, B, C, D, and just did all these crazy runs and shit like that. And it just blew up the mainframe, right? So melanated people, if ever there was a school that supported your creativity, supported your genius, You might build something. You might create something. You might invent something that motherfuckers will be like, what the fuck is this? But if you ever walked into school and said, you know what? My name is Shaniqua Jenkins, and this is just how I get down. I like to stand up. I like to sing. I like to come up with different raps. I just like to do my own shit. I like to fucking twerk while I fucking study, bitch. I do all types of shit when I do my thing. You feel me? Your teacher going to be like, well, you going to disrupt the class. You is a plus B equals C Sharniqua. Why is you coming in with different parameters and different 
artistic expressions and you you turn that A into a B. How uh, A is an A, Shaniqua, and a B is a B. You understand? You never been taught your ancient magic, your ancient skill set. You've only been taught how to build things in reference to how God organized the world. But do you know how God organized the world? God organized the world with 22 Hebrew letters and 32 paths. It's called the Kabbalistic tree. Now, this is a technology that has been put that the church has access to. So when they put forth this technology, which is the technology of manifestation, the reason why your auntie ain't going to give a fuck about you changing your name to Ron Heptoff Hefra is because when it came down to paying her bills, you did not help her with that manifestation shit that you talking about. Jesus helped her ass because Jesus is a play on a Hebrew system of path working that deals with manifestation. Motherfuckers is praying to Jesus, not because they just love the way that he looked with his beautiful vanilla skin. They love him because when it gets down to the crunch time, when they when they rent his fifteen hundred dollars and they ain't got nobody to call on, and they drop to their knees and out of nowhere, they might get a fucking payday cash <laughs> check loan where Jesus is, he might scam them on some shit, but at least he paying their rent. Got to tithe every 10% of my earnings, but hey, at least I got some earnings to tithe. Now, if you caught up in a process of materialism, i.e. government, i.e. Western education, Western thought, then all you can think about is manifesting. Which is cool, but you don't know how deep your manifestation process can actually get. You don't know how creative you actually can be in reference to if you would spend five days a week, eight hours a day, 12 years cultivating your blueprint, what would you actually create in reference to 18 to fucking 36? Now, imagine you going to a fucking institution for 12 years, five days a week, eight hours, eight hours a day. And they're saying, hey, little Timmy, fuck your blueprint. Follow our blueprint. And if you ever fucking think think to do your own blueprint we're gonna give you a fucking f we're gonna kick your ass out on the streets we're gonna make you feel like shit for having your own thoughts and your own mind now if you ever want to figure out how deep your rabbit hole can go you're gonna have to avoid this goddamn shadow work family it's, it's extremely ironic. And now let's let's deal with the deeper part because motherfuckers is I just I just keep it real to real and motherfuckers can argue with me from heaven to the hill. You understand? Imagine sending your kid to school and be not to say sending your kid to school is bad, which it is. However, sending your kid to school and he a little child or she a little child, they got to develop in mind. Meaning that they don't really know right from wrong. They'll do some wrong shit, not even realizing that there's wrong shit because their mind is developing. But you will expose they developing. It is. And in reality, we all got to do what we got to do. And that's just the reality of life. But at the same time, I ain't going to be mad at my kids if they piss the teacher off. I'm going to be like, what your ass want for dinner? Do you want some toys? Like, I'm going to treat them like a regular person. Don't give your kids no energy when they ain't doing perfect at school. I mean, be pissed at your kids when they getting straight A's and shit. Because you really be like, man, you got to get more revolutionary than that. I need you to get at least a C in gym, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of 
give them an edge, give them a curve. Like you can't imagine that this system that fucked your head up is going to be good for your kids and right for your kids. However, if you don't want to be adjusting your parenting style, you need to avoid this damn shadow work. You feel me? Because it's a particular section, you know, I've been putting out this shadow work, then put out like hundreds of journals and shit like that. You know what motherfuckers never talk about? <laughs> about the goddamn journal? Motherfuckers never talk about that damn mommy wound. I tell you, I, I've never. I mean, niggas act like that little section in the book don't exist, right? Um, your mama not perfect. You not a perfect mom. If you ain't willing to accept that shit, oh, you need to avoid this damn shadow work. Oh, shadow work is the devil because now you got to really stand on your mommy game. Now you got to really stand on your daddy game. Now you got to say, dad, it didn't even matter if you weren't perfect. You were never supposed to ever going to be perfect no matter who you was going to be. All of this negative energy I held towards you, unrequited. <laughs> I have to respect you as a human being. Doing your own shadow work. You got to get to your blueprint, dad. I release my attention towards you. Mama, guess what? You ain't perfect. I be putting you on pedestals and shit. Actually, you be fucking up. <laughs> Actually, you be on bullshit. I love you, though. I'm just doing shadow work. Shadow work is being so honest about your reality. So honest about the times that you fuck up, not for the sake of beating you up, but for the sake of redirecting your energy to a space where you not fucking up. Imagine that if you don't call yourself on the times that you fucking up, that you don't change. And if you don't correct yourself, you don't get to access your power. What is your power? The fact that can't nobody intercede in the relation between you and your inner God. You become like a knife in a world of paper. Before you do shadow work, the world is a fucking brick and, a, and you're just this small twig. You, you don't know your specific purpose by listening to what other people are saying or by seeing what other people are doing. You have an inner eye, an inner mind, an inner world. Now, the lack of shadow work is mainly due for the fact that we do not feel as though that is an important world to access. Honestly, when you talk when I talk to people, their main concern is their bank account and their more or less love life. Their bank account and their love life. And then sometimes people imagine that their bank account is good because their bank account is good today. The reality of of money is that that shit here today going tomorrow. The same person that love you today can despise you tomorrow and you ain't even realize that they hated you for the past 20 years and you just thinking this is some new shit. They've been holding grudges for years. You didn't even realize it. So what you holding on to, such as money and love and relationships and status and showing these fucking ussies and selfies and trips to the Bahamas, it don't really mean shit. What means shit is you have a connection to yourself. What does that connection to yourself entail? Your actual blueprint. What does your blueprint actually entail? You need to be patient as your life develops for you. But how does your life develop for you? By following the actions that yourself give you on a day to day. Now, because yourself give you energies and, and, and pursuits daily, this means you must be perpetually humble. Most people don't want to be humble in reference to being in business being a better father, being a better mother. Motherfuckers don't want to be humble. Motherfuckers want to come in the door. Hey, I'm the best mom. Hey, my business is the top tier business. 
right? But you got to understand that that energy will not lead you to be successful. What do I mean? And I'll get off this live. If you say I'm the best parent, that doesn't give you any room to improve. If you perpetuate your business as being the top dog business, then you're not actually marketing your business effectively. Think about the businesses that you support. Do you support the businesses that are high end, that just are boastful and bragful? 10 times out of 10, you naturally would be repulsed by that energy. So think about when you post, if you post or you promote or advertise your business, like, hey, look at me, I got a business, it's so great. Shouldn't you sign up? Shouldn't you buy it? And motherfuckers walk past you. Now you start projecting. My family don't never support me. My sisters don't never support me. My brothers don't never support me. My mama never support me. Well, have you helped your mama? Have you explained the vision to them? Have you given them more than enough options and enough reasons to make your business stand out above all the businesses. I'll do you one better. Is your mama a part of your target audience? Is your mama your ideal customer? If she's not a part of your target audience, if she's not a part of your ideal customer, she's not a part of your market. Are you serving your market or are you fucking complaining? Because every day a motherfucker get up working for McDonald's and, and looking for black people to get into a commercial and act like they happy at a restaurant eating a hamburger, meaning that they not complaining about getting business. They marketing to who they audience is. And you could be mad that they got the couple sitting in there eating their hamburgers and they taking pictures and they doing a good commercial. But McDonald's ain't taking a billion fucking trillion dollars for granted. But your ass ain't got a hundred dollars on your business account. Probably don't even got a business account. Worried about where your customers is coming from. If you don't get out there and get their ass, they not going to just show up to your business because you post some shit on IG. You got to be so aggressive in providing them a reason to want to spend money with you that if you don't do it, you really just making yourself feel worse and worse and worse, compounding your interest in a negative way because you hoping that motherfuckers is just going to help you one day when you got to get your ass in the game. Now, if you want to continue to complain about your mama not buying none of your oils, then my thing is you need to avoid this fucking shadow work. But if you're trying to get over your own self, Get over your own humps. Like the reality of tuning into your shadow, the reality of tuning into your blueprint is the reality that you don't got to fucking worry about shit. Ten times out of ten, if you stepping outside of your blueprint, then you got every right to fucking worry. You should be fucking smoking cigarettes at this particular point because you is you is not serving your inner God. You serving some external God. You serving your lower self. You serving the fact that you following somebody else's vision and you know for a fact that vision ain't your vision and it ain't going to lead you nowhere specific to where you're going to be happy. So what are you going to do? My thing is I got all types of shit that help you do this fucking shadow work, but I can't do it for you. I just I just be sitting out here drinking my tea and thinking about different messages that might help the collective in the space of like 15, 20 minutes. So that was that. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And I'll see y'all on the flip. Peace.